Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Andreas. We hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create some very creative visualizations using pie charts and donut charts. Now, we're not going to create basic pie and donut charts. As you will see by the end of this video, we will make some really impressive pies and donuts that you can use on reports and dashboards and wow your boss. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. In the first example, I would like to show how in 2023, half of the world's emissions came from just three countries. Okay, and we're going to start by selecting our data. So let's highlight the cells from A3 to B7. I don't want the world total for now. We're going to go up to the Insert tab and we're going to choose Pie Chart. I'm just going to go for a 2D pie chart. The first thing we're going to do is move a little bit and resize slightly so it fits nicely under the data, right? Now, while we can take a pretty good guess at these segments, it's useful to have the percentages. And a quick way of adding them is to come to your Chart Design ribbon. Come to Quick Layout and these give you some instant presets. I'd like to choose the first one, Layout 1, which gives me these series labels and percentages. Now, if you want to format these, just click on any one of the nice labels. They're all highlighted, and then you can come and make them white. Nice. Let's change the size to 8, and you can make them bold if you'd like. And then we're going to come to make one final little tweak here. Click on the plus sign, Chart Element. We're going to turn off our chart title, and we're going to replace it with an image. So make sure that your chart is still selected. Come to Insert Pictures, Place Over Cells, and navigate to the folder that you have the CO2 image. I have it here in this folder. I have included the image. You can find it in the Resources Files. Check out the description if you want to download and use the same image. We'll resize that slightly and just pop it into the middle of our chart. Very cool. That's a very nice way of presenting our data. Now it's one chart. All right. Now, one thing to consider is that all of these countries actually have extremely large populations. But one limitation of pie chart is that you can only show a single series. So you can't show the population data on this chart. Fortunately, we have a new type of chart called the donut chart, which is very much like a pie, but it will let us show multiple series. So we're going to copy our pie, so Control plus C, and we're going to click into the cell next door, and Control plus V to paste. We'll get rid of our image for this one, and then we're going to come to our chart design. Come to change the chart type, and we're going to switch that over to a donut chart. So, similar concept, but we have a hole in the middle, and we can add multiple series. Coming up to our data, we're going to grab that blue square bottom right corner and just drag across. And now we can see our population as well. Looks a little messy though, so let's do a little bit of a cleanup. First thing we're going to do is to click on the labels for the outer ring. Alright, now we're just going to switch those off. How? Click the chart elements plus icon and uncheck the data labels. Nice. And then we're going to click on the labels in the inner ring. Right click, format data labels, and we're going to come to our label options. Let's switch off the percentages and we don't need the leader lines either. And then if we just select one of those rings, it doesn't matter which one, and come to the format data series, you'll see that you can actually change the whole size. We can make that 25% and that gives us a little bit more breathing space. Very cool. Looking pretty good, but I'd like to make the outer ring look slightly different. One way we can do this is by adjusting the color slightly. So I'm going to click again into one of the segments, such as that one segment selected, and come to my format data point label. And I'm going to set that to solid fill. 
Now, that may change the color, so we're going to set that back to our dark teal, and then we're going to change our transparency to 35%. So it's still the same shade, but it's just a little bit lighter. So we're going to do that for the orange as well. I'll do the same thing with the dark green. and then the same turquoise color. Now, the only sort of downside is that it's not easy to label the actual rings themselves. You can use the category labels, but an easier way is to just use text boxes. So I've gotten pre-prepared over here, population and emission. For example, I'm going to copy population, click into my chart, and paste them. And then just move that somewhere into the outer ring. Then I'll do the same with the emissions. Copy, clicking my chart, Control plus V to paste, and then pop that into the inner ring. And the reason we copy pasted rather than just dragging them is that when we move the chart, you will see the text box move with it. So that's one way that we could represent two sets of data, but in a pie format. I'll leave you to decide what is the most effective option. If you think there is another way to put labels inside the donut chart, please leave a comment below the video. But the reason I wanted to introduce you to this multiple ring option is that it does open up a lot of creative options for creating really effective visualizations. And the next one we're going to look at is called a tracker. Here is a tracker. And to prepare this data, I have calculated the improvement, and I have also calculated the offset. How much has it improved by? By just taking 1 minus the improvement. And these are the values that we're going to use inside our tracker. We can now build a tracker for China. Now, the first thing we're going to do is build a series that forms this little gray backdrop feeler. And if you scroll across to column L, you'll see that we actually have 60 ones that I have prepared earlier. That's all there in the column, and we're going to select them. So click L2, Control plus Shift plus Down Arrow, and we're going to come to our Insert tab, come to our Charts, choose Pi, and then select the Donut Chart. And we're going to need to move this up a little bit. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is to turn off our title and our legend from the chart elements plus icon. So, let's get rid of both of those. And then we can resize that so it fits nicely in the space beside the other charts. Now, clicking into our series, we're going to change our whole size again. Right click, format data series, this time I'm going to set it to 50%. Then we're going to come to our fill color, so this little bucket icon, okay? And we're going to say solid fill, and we're going to set the whole thing to pale gray. So that's created the backdrop. Now, to add the improvement, we're going to add another series. So we're going to come to select data from the chart design tab, and we're going to click add. Our series name is going to be our selected region, so click on the China cell. And our series values are going to be improvement and our offset. And we're going to say OK and OK again. The problem is it's showing as concentric rings, but I'll show you how to solve this problem. Clicking on one of the rings, we're going to come to the chart type. From combo charts, we're going to put that on a secondary axis, and we're going to say, OK. And that overlays the first series with the second series. Let's do a couple of little tweaks. Click the ring once and then twice on your percentage improvement and turn on your data labels. I think this will make those white as well. And then click on your offset once and twice to make sure that it's selected. 
come to your fill options and set that to no fill. Finally, to get our chart title, we're going to use the text box again. So I'm just going to say insert, come to shapes, choose the text box, and a nice text box to go into the center here. Then we're going to come into our formula bar, type equals and click on our region name, and then press enter. Probably a good idea just to set that vertically and horizontally. And maybe just adjust the size slightly down to a 10. And now we can straight away see that the energy improvement for China was 45%. Oh, let's remove the border also from that text box. I will also remove the outline from the charts. Very cool. Not only that, but these trackers are completely dynamic. So if I come and change my improvement percentage, for example, to 60%, you see it adjust. And if I change my location to Greece, it also adjusts. It's a really effective visualization and nice creative way of presenting your data. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will keep the channel running. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.